This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hello YouTube, it's me doing the last deck profile for V series. Thank God. <laughs> boy oh boy was this a mess of an era. Um this is a, a card that I got from what does that say? Clan selection Volume 1, because oh. it was all Volume 1. Damn, this deck's old whack. Yeah, <laughs> Clan Selection Volume 1. Uh, Richard gave it to me. Thank you, Richard. Uh, oh, it's awesome. bad. Build it in, if your friends gave you the cards. Don't spend money on them for yourself, because you're not going to win. It's not a good deck, but, you know, it's fine. Welcome to Nexus Core. Uh, doing Ratoon, because... There's no reason for it. There's no reason to run any given Neo Nectar starter, so I chose this one. I thought Arboros was your avatar. I'm, I don't have an avatar on the grounds that I am an adult. Oh, okay. Um, we got Maiden of Stand Peony. Uh, uh, this is. What does this do? It's Trailing Rose, so you get a token on call and you get two on ride. And uh, it has a really over-costed ability where you counterblast one on attack to retire four rear guards and call four tokens with 10k if your opponent's at grade three. Um, it's very awkward because some cards get rid of themselves during the battle phase, and um, if you want to get rid of your own booster, you just don't have a van. You have a 13k vanguard because you don't want to give the vanguard the gifts because. You want to reuse the gifts in the battle phase, so this is a bad card, but it's the boss monster, which really is the theme for Neo Nectar support in V or after Cecilia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. You know, it's, it's true. Yeah. Um, we're actually running this thing this time, a Cordflower Flower Maiden Ions. Uh, on r place, counterblast one, soul blast one, check top five to call a thing and shuffle if you have two copies of the card you called draw. And, uh, Vanarir, whenever you call a card by an effect, she gets 5k. That's not once per turn, and it does count tokens. So she can get pretty big numbers, and she can also fill up your board, uh, with a bunch of pretty easy plus ones, which is what you want with Peony. All you want is a board of things that you're going to eventually kill to turn into 5k beaters. Wow, what a fantastic strategy after the, uh, V series gave us things like, uh, Gurgit, or... What's your thing? Hmm? P Percival. That's his name. Yeah. Who would have thought that Stan Peony is a good card when Gurgit Percival was a combo? Great design, Bushy. Thanks. Um, Sephiroth. Uh, this is a card that I liked a lot when I was a child, and I don't care about it now because this card's bad. But it works for this deck, so I'm running it. Uh, retire a card to call two tokens. And if you have a full board, he gets 10k. And if it's on Vanguard, all of your tokens do the weird thing where they become 10k's with intercepts and 10 shield. You never use that, though, because you'd never want to be on this thing. But it does it in case things go... I'd say if they Worse. go bad, but you're, <laughs> you're playing Stan Peony, so, you know... <laughs> sorry, man. Uh, Maiden and Nepenthes. This is a weird card. I mostly net decked this. I don't know if this needs to be run it for, but it is very funny. Uh, you can once per turn retire a token to draw a card, and it can gets 5k and boost until end of turn. And it does that on Van, if you so you have a Vanguard that can finally boost, as if that will ever feasibly come up, but it's funny. And whenever it boosts a grade 3 rear guard, you can give that card a crit, but it goes to, so, the Nepenthes goes to Soul at the end of the turn. This is the weird thing with Stand Peony, because if you use that effect, you're going to retire Stand Peony's booster, so you're going to have a 13k attack. Does it only work boosting? <laughs> only when it boosts a rear guard, so you can't even give it to your vanguard. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I don't know why this was run it for. So, it's funny though. Why did this have to work on a rear guard, Bushi? Uh, this could have been fine. This was intended for Asha, you know, the thing that you give to your vanguard everything anyways. But sure, let me give that crit to uh, Flower Fairy. That's going to have its crit reset anyways. Fantastic card design. Uh, and also fantastic debtless. Thank whoever I net decked this from. Uh, two Sylvia makes you a token for free, which is good. Uh, two Anelma. It doesn't make you a token for free, but it gets you a draw with it. And it gets boost if you're have a copy of Van Onrier. That'll never come up, but it's there if you need it. 
Um, and you know, drawing cards is cool. Getting a plus two off of a counter blast one, soul blast one's pretty sick. Uh, two maiden of fine ale. This is a gold paladin. Counter blast one, sack itself, check top three, call two things, and bottom of deck the last one. It fills up your board for stand peony. Uh, two copies of Kaivant. You have a lot of tokens, so you can make Kaivant a beater. Uh, four copies of a card that actually would be good if it came from literally any other Neonectar variant, which is Flower Carpet. On place, make a token, and at the end of your turn, you can sack two plant tokens to add it from drop to hand. The problem is that's a hard once per turn, and like Bushi, it's a neg two to get 10k from drop at the very end of V-Series. Of all the things that needed to be hard once per turn, this wasn't one of them, but you did it anyway, so I don't know why I called this card good at the start of this deck profile. Um, what else is there? Uh, the actually good card, Bad Meanie. It's a grade 3 searcher that gets 5k if you have two tokens, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, running three copies of Craig. Uh, this deck doesn't get any soul charging, and you soul blast a bit, so I don't want to run... Fruit Basket Alpha. That's it. Um, and this card actually powers up tokens, which if you don't use Nepenthes can actually be pretty neat if you just have a bunch of tokens with it. So this is actually not an awful card given the everything um <laughs> wow the card that's gives something in this col column 5k <laughs> one of the better cards in the deck it's not a column it's a row oh row oh uh, we got four copies of a draw pg and this one's triple r even though it's not being picked up uh it's a draw pg you should have resources because honestly i might as well make this 12 crit anyways because it's not like i can survive past one excel matchup turn anyways uh, it's a heal. Yeah, good thing we got those sentinel crits. You're right. Imagine if we had those when you built Arpros. <laughs> You're right. Um, we got four copies of the just the best crit in the game. Uh, yeah. Actually, no. The best crit in the game is the Magnolia crit from the start deck because it's just a little mouse thing. Love mm -hmm. that. Uh, chestnut bullet. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this deck isn't good if I didn't hammer that point home well enough. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Because V-Series is over, and that's all that really matters. Uh, maybe Bushi won't mess up this format, because, you know, when you think about it, maybe giving some clans the ability to make extra circles was a really terrible idea, especially when more than half of them couldn't do it anyways. And, you know... No, that was it. Excel clans were a mistake. <laughs> cool. Uh, maybe, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. Maybe you'll see the games before. Maybe you'll see it after. But at the time of recording, uh, these series is almost gone for the most part. Maybe I'll update this at the end when we get the V-series set. Hope not, though. Bye. Bye.